are these function differentiable at the indicated x value? The first one we have f of x equals to 3x times absolute value of x. Is this function differentiable when x is equals to 0? I gave you a graph, so it looks like when x is equals to 0, around that region, we have a horizontal tangent line. Let's see if that is the case. Uh, for to, to be honest, for these three examples, it is kind of hard to tell whether that is uh, differentiable or not. So if you look at the next two examples, it looks like there is a sharp corner, right? But if that is really differentiable as zero, we have to do the derivative. Okay, back to the first one. So first of all, at x equals to zero, we have f prime of zero that equals to limit as x approaches to zero. We have f of zero plus h minus f of zero, so we have zero plus x and zero because we let x equals to zero. If you want x equals to one, then that is f one plus h minus f of one. And then we plug in the zero plus x, so we have three times zero plus h, and then multiply absolute value zero plus h, and then minus f of zero, which is three times zero times zero, and then divided by h, so we have a limit as x goes to zero. And then we have a three times h times h times absolute value of h minus zero divided by h. And then we can make a cancellation. So after cancel these two h, we are able to plug in zero, right? So once you plug in a zero, you have three times absolute value of zero that is equals to zero. So what does that mean? This is f prime of zero equals to zero. So we have this, this is f prime of zero that is equals to zero, meaning that we have a horizontal tangent. So horizontal tangent at x equals to zero. So since the slope is defined, x equals to zero is okay. So since the slope is defined, we say that f is differentiable at x equals to zero. At x equals to zero. And then the next one is a piecewise function. For piecewise function, we will have to look at the left limit and the right limit. So let me move the problem a little bit so I can write down my left and right limit. I'm going to move the problem a little bit. And then uh, erase this. So we, of course, we have to match the color. So this one, we have x less than zero. We have a linear function. You see the graph is over here. So we have a linear function. x less than zero means when you set up the limit, we have x goes to to zero from the left. And then we have a parabola when x is greater than or equal to zero, that means x goes to zero from the right. But is this function differentiable at x equals to zero? We have to find out. We have to do two limits, the left limit for the linear function and then the right limit for the parabola. Let's start with the left limit. So we have f prime of zero equals to limit as x goes to zero from the left. And then we have f of zero plus h minus f of zero and then divided by h and then this zero comes from x equals to zero. All right. So if you are saying x less than one or x greater than or equal to one, then you have f one plus h and minus f of one. Okay, so plug in. Always start with limit h goes to zero. And then the first one is negative two, zero plus h, and then minus one. So that's for the zero plus h. And then you subtract the entire f of zero. And I like to use a square bracket to group that. So when x is equals to zero, we have a zero square, right? Oh, no, 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 not zero square. We have negative two times zero minus one. And then this lives inside a square bracket. The square bracket is very important because you are subtracting the entire the entire thing. You might have that might the, the, the subtraction affects the plus or minus sign. Okay, what's next? Simplify as much as possible and get ready to cancel the h. So we have a negative two h and then a minus one, 
right? We have a minus one and then minus a negative one. So we have a minus one plus one. So that's it. We have a negative two x divided by x. That's it. And then we are going to get rid of the x. So that means when x is equals to zero for the linear function, the slope is equals to negative two. In fact, that is a linear function. You can tell that the slope is always equals to negative two. How about the parabolas? So f prime of zero equals to limit as x goes to zero from the right. We have f of zero plus h minus f of zero divided by h. So that is limit as x goes to zero. Uh, for the zero plus h, we have zero plus x square minus one and then minus f of zero. So which is a zero square minus one minus one. And I would like to group this minus zero in a square bracket. If you mess up the square bracket, then you won't be able to cancel out the x in the denominator. Okay, let's see. X goes to zero, so we have X squared, right? I think that's it. The minus one plus one, yeah. X squared divided by X, and then you get rid of the X, so you have a zero, so then this is a zero. So this X is gone, right? This X is gone, that get rid of the square, then when you plug in zero, then you get a zero. What does that mean? That means for the parabola, look at the graph over here. For the parabola, when x, this is a x squared minus one, the vertex was in zero, zero, and then you shift one unit down to zero, negative one. And then at this point, we have a horizontal tangent. That's why the slope is equal to zero. So since we already have the, the left limit and the right limit, the left limit gives me a negative two, the right limit gives me a zero. What does that mean? That means, the limit as x goes to zero from either side does not exist. So we write this down. So for the left limit, the slope is negative two. And then for the right limit, the slope is equals to zero. So since they are not the same, so what does that mean? That means f prime exactly as zero. So this one limit as x goes to zero, f of zero plus x, we are looking at either side, right? So the left side is not equal to the right side. And then for the both side, if we are talking about the both side, then the limit does not exist. So divided by x, and then this limit does not exist. And you can say that there is a sharp corner. So that means f is not differentiable at x equals to zero. So on the left hand side, you have a negative two. And then on the right hand side, at this point, the parabola, you have a zero. So this one, you can consider that as a, sh as a sharp corner, because once again, a function is not differentiable in three cases. The first case is discontinuity. The second case, which is not, which is not, not this, right? And then the second case is what? The second case is vertical tangent, which is not the case. And then the last case is sharp corner point. So this one, I will consider that as a sharp corner point, just like y equals to absolute value of x. All right, so let's move on to the last one. The last one, I will, I will cop copy the problem for you. So the last one is all the way on top. We have f of x, we have a x plus two square x less than zero. So that one, we shift the vertex of the parabola two units to the left. So that's why we started at negative two. And then the other one, we have a linear function. So we have a parabola when x is negative and we have a linear function when x is positive or zero. So this might be a corner. Let, let's see. So this one, I will go down right here and then copy the problem for you. So we have f of x equals to parabola x plus two square linear function two x plus four. This is x less than zero, x greater than equal to zero. So that means x goes to zero from the left and x goes to zero from the right. So let's do the left limit. We have x goes to zero from the left, f of zero plus x minus f of zero and then divided by x we will be using the parabola. So this is limit x goes to zero 
um, zero plus h plus two square minus f of zero zero plus two square divided by h and then what, what what do we have we have to open up the, the square so h plus two so that is h square plus four h plus four and then minus four divided by h clearly you can see that these two got cancelled and then once you factor out an h you have limit h goes to zero uh, h h plus four divided by h and then once you get rid of the h you have h equals to four so you have this one is equals to four okay let's check out the, the other side the other side is limit as h goes to zero from the right we have um, f of zero plus h minus f of zero. The reason I put two zeros in there is because we let x equals to zero. We are looking at this point. Is the function differentiable at x equals to zero? If you are asking if is the function differentiable at x equals to five, then you have five plus h and then f of five f of 5 plus h minus f of 5 if the problem is asking you to analyze x equals to 5 and then we equal h goes to 0 from the right uh, we have 2 0 plus h plus 4 minus 2 times 0 plus 4 divided by h am i missing anything yep i miss a square bracket because i don't want to mess up the sign so this is limit h goes to zero from the right. We have a two h plus four, two h plus four minus four divided by h. So get rid of the four and then uh, cancel out the h. You have a two, right? In fact, this is a linear function, two x plus four. The slope is always equals to two. So this one, we have a two. This one, we have a four. So that is not equal. So that means pretty much there is a sharp corner point when x is equals to zero. So that means we say f is not differentiable. I will just write this at x equals to two. Uh, this one, I am thinking that if you change this, because one is two, one is four, right? And then this two is depends on that. Do you, do you see it? Maybe I should switch to, to a different color. This two, this two right here, depends on this number right and this number is right over here if you change that to so if you change that to uh i will say try 4x plus 4 if you try 4x plus 4 they might have the the, the same slope if they if you try 4x plus 4 they might have the same slopes and this will be a 4 this will be a 4 and then this will be a 4 therefore the limit exists then the function is differentiable if this is 4 the other one is 4 they are equal the limit exists then the function is differentiable uh, at x equals to 4 all right so that's it for this video i won't say goodbye because we have more advanced problem in the next video see you there